Happy holidays, everyone. We are really happy to be able to bring some holiday cheer to you since you can't come to us this year. And we are thrilled to have twins great Justin Morneau help us with that because Justin is actually apparently wearing holiday cheer. What are you wearing? What is that, a jacket? Oh yeah, and a tie that matches. So it's uh, it's one of those things we do around our house around Christmas. Uh, there's nothing quite like embarrassing your kids and, and they get embarrassed to see their dad dressed up like uh, in a cat suit. So there you go. So uh, we love the holidays around here. Does the whole family have some sort of outfit or just you? Oh yeah, I, this is, it's not really my department. This is more uh, my wife's department of uh, making sure we're all dressed festively in pajamas and different outfits and everything else. So it's fun. Uh, this is actually usually what I wear to Christmas dinner. So this is, uh, this is as formal as it gets around here. So we like to have fun. A cat jacket. Nice yep. touch. Well Living done. <laughs> Since you grew up in Canada, obviously we <laughs> celebrate most of the same holidays. Thanksgiving is different, but for holiday traditions, what is a Canadian holiday tradition that you grew up with that maybe we don't do in the States? Um, well, there's a couple things, but I think for me, it was always because Thanksgiving for us is in October. So we always had turkey. I always had turkey on Christmas and then uh, marrying into a, an American family. They don't really, they usually do ham on Christmas and because it's so close to Thanksgiving and turkey, you know, twice in a month is a big deal. So, but I make sure that we continue that tradition on here in the United States and in, in Minneapolis of having a turkey on Thanksgiving so I can feel a little bit at home as well. Okay, so you bring some of the Canadian Christmas, you make sure that the, the holiday spirit from Canada is permeated in Minnesota. I like Yeah, it. well, Santa Claus is Canadian. He does live in the North Pole, so. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we Americans, we forget that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it straight. What about a holiday movie? Something you have to watch you and your family every year. It's a tough one. I, I had a you know, tough time deciding between A Christmas Story and Home Alone. I love Elf. Oh. It hasn't been around as long. It's funny. It's maybe a little older than the than the young kids in our house uh, will stick around long enough to watch. But I, I think Christmas Story, if I had to pick one, it's Christmas Story. Um, I know you're an outdoorsman. I know you embrace the winter. What is your favorite get outside, don't care how cold it is, winter activity? Well, growing up, as we talked about earlier, growing up in Canada, especially on the West Coast, we actually didn't have frozen hockey rinks. It was, you had to drive either into the mountains or a few hours out of downtown Vancouver to find the frozen rink. So the first time I actually skated outside was in Minnesota. I grew up playing hockey, but I'd never skated outside until I came really? to Minnesota. So one of the things I always wanted as a kid was my own hockey rink in the backyard. So we have that. Uh, and it's one of those things that it's a true ratio of, of, 10 to one, it's 10 hours of work for every hour you get to skate. And, and this past week, that's what I've been doing. We got a, a little excited. We jumped the gun in October and, and it got cold and we decided that we were going to put the rink up. And, and then all of a sudden it was 70 degrees 70. and it was a, uh, it was a huge puddle. So this last week has been that, but you know what? I, I spend, you know, four, five, six hours out there during the day when the kids are at school. And, you know, I take a lot of pride in my rink and, and uh, having a, a good place to skate for whoever wants to come over. 10 hours of work to one hour of fun though, is it worth it? Oh, of course, yes. It's it's one of those things that when you skate outside on that outdoor rink and you got the sun shining and everything else, it's there's no nothing quite like it, I don't think. Uh, you know, people. some people like to ski, some people like to cross country ski, snowmobile, ice fish, whatever it is. But for me, being able to skate outside in my backyard and, and play a little pickup game uh, is, is, you know, the, the fun part of winter for me. And you mentioned the ham turkey controversy, but what is your favorite holiday food? And I'm talking like full meal or like this certain cookie or something like that. Just it really says holiday time to you and you stuffing. love it. Stuffing. stuffing. Stuffing for sure. Stuffing with gravy on top of it and not not too crazy stuffing. It doesn't need celery and a bunch of crunchy stuff in it. I'm, I'm just basically the bread and the turkey and, you know, mix in a couple other seasoning and everything else. But that to me... You know, you can have turkey during the year and stuffing is one of those things that, that really uh, lets me know that it's Christmas time. It's a special occasion and uh, I get to eat, uh, you know, something that I really want to eat. So that for me, without stuffing, it, it's just not the same. Just keep it plain though. Big ball of mush. That's all yeah, you need. Much. Yeah, just bread with gravy on it pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you would like to say to 
Minnesotans and those people watching, just your holiday wishes for everyone who in a really, really strange holiday time. Yeah, I think uh, this year, 2020 started off crazy for everyone. It was, uh, it's been a challenge throughout the year to, you know, to find things to do to, you know, keep your spirits up and, and hopefully everyone is able to stay healthy and make it through this, this holiday season. And we can turn the cor corner in a new year in 2021. And, and hopefully we get fans back in the ballpark and everyone gets back to their, their normal routines. But, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing that we wish for everyone is just a uh, good health. And, and if anyone does happen to come down with, with COVID or, or an illness similar to that, that, that they are able to get through it as well as they can and keep other people around them healthy and safe. And, I think that would be my wish for the holiday season. I think that's a lot of people's wishes. Thank you so much, Justin. I appreciate it. Happy holidays to you and to your family. Thanks, Marnie. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.